Hey. <clears throat> hey, YouTube. <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate dinner. Not dinner, but lunch. Ate some food for lunch. Drinking my pre workout. Um, I pretty much did an hour workout outside. Um, as, as you can tell, I'm, all, I'm awful kind of sweaty right now. Um, it's 82 degrees out, and I've been out there for a whole hour, and that's all I can do in the heat, and until I, until I get too hot. Um, but um, I just wanted to say this: is that you know, people that want to quit their jobs because they ain't happy there with the with the place or they ain't happy there, you know, um, because their friends quit or um, they want to quit because, you know, they just don't find it suitable for them to work there anymore and, or there is just nothing there for them. Um, basically, that just lets the enemy know that they won the battle. What I mean by that is that Workplaces are like a battlefield. You gotta treat it like a, like you're out in the battlefield. You need, you don't need to have you don't need to let your enemies see that you have a weak point. If you let your enemies see that you have a weak point, you already lost. That's right. If you let your enemies see your weak point, you've already lost. Because your enemy knows your weakness. That's right. Your enemy must not know your weakness. If you let your enemy know your weakness, you have lost a battle. And if you give up, you have lost the battle. Because you're letting your enemy know that you are superior than you. You're letting your enemy know that they're superior over you because you let them know that you have a weakness and that you are just giving up. Don't give up. Don't ever give up, because if you give up on that battlefield, if you go down with a shot, you know, if you go down with a shot, and you, you know, and you still get back up, you still get back up. It doesn't matter in the battlefield. Battlefield, you never know You never know that who's your friends or who's your enemies. Because your enemies, some of your enemies on the enemy side, some of your friends could be on the enemy side. Some of them can't. You might not even have, I mean, you might have some friends that are on your side. You're on their side, but you might have some enemies that are on your side too. But you never know who's your who's the enemy on the battlefield because you never want to know who's who has a weakness. That's right. You don't need to let them know you have a weakness and not to give up. Because if you give up, man, I'm gonna tell you what. If you give up. I'm going to say this, if you give up in life, the enemy's already won. Really what I'm trying to say is the enemy is within yourself. That's right. If you give up, the enemy is already won. And really technically, if you give up, that means 
you giving up on yourself. Never give up on yourself. Never give up on yourself. That's the reason why I always say is, no matter how hard a job is, no matter how hard a training session is, no matter what you do, you think life is so hard, so, so miserable, and, you know, everything. Don't throw your life away for stupid choices that people make. Don't throw your life away the stupid choices that people make. The reason why I say that is because it's not worth it. If you throw yourself away, then you lost your way and you have not gained nothing in life. That's right. You have not gained nothing in life. I was always taught when I was younger by anybody and everybody is to never give up on your dreams, never to give up on who you are, what you're about, never give up on your on who you are on the inside. Don't ever, ever lose that on who you are on the inside. Because nobody can replace that. Nobody can replace that. You know, people might replace you at your jobs, or people might, you know, replace you in a sport, you know, that you love doing. You know, they might find a new team member and say, okay, he's good in that position. I'm going to take you off the field, put you in, put you on the bench, let you sit out the rest of the season to let him play. Well, you're going to think, well, what did I do wrong, you know, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just don't give up you on who you are because, you know, life is never going to be easy because there are always going to be obstacles in life because it's on how you learn from the obstacles to go forward beyond your limit on what you are capable of doing in life because, you know, that's the thing. You know, you can't point a finger at somebody to blame down the street you cannot point, point the finger and blame somebody down the street. The reason why I say that is, is because you only got yourself to blame if you give up on yourself, on who you are and what you're about. Stay true to your passion. Stay true to your art. Do what makes, what makes you happy, not what somebody else tells you. If you feel like you're not happy at a job and they want you to stay, want you to stay, and they beg you to stay, tell them I'm done. But you gotta mean it. And the thing is, don't just say, oh, I wanna quit and walk out. If you wanna quit, nobody's forcing you to stay. Nobody's forcing you to stay. If you wanna quit the job, there's the door. Walk out and go find you another job. Nobody is forcing you to stay anywhere. But you gotta find your own happiness. It's no matter where you work at, it's always gonna be the same thing, same drama, same places, different management, different ways on how things are done, and it's always gonna be drama everywhere you go. And if people just learn just not to have drama, then this world will be a whole lot fucking better. But it ain't it ain't gonna smell like no roses and plus when you wake up in the morning, it ain't gonna smell the bozers in your cup, wake me up with a smile, whatever, you know, like paradise. Oh look at me, paradise, as I should say, is that no matter what type of job you have, you are never ever gonna be happy. If somebody says that they're happy after a job and all that, that they like their job, they're fucking lying. They're fucking lying their asses off. Because nobody likes their job. But, we do our jobs because we know what is best. That's the only reason why we do our jobs. 
And all I gotta say to people that want is quit and walk out on their jobs, singing in their hang tubs, and you know, pat yourself on the back for showing up. You know, that's the only thing I can say is not to give up throwing the towel and let your enemy know that you are weak in the battlefield of the work field. That's all I'm saying right now. Seth Donald Ford, if you all don't know who I am, I am Seth Donald Ford. Please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the like. Hit, leave a comment in my video. And another thing, please hit that bell and hit the bell notification. You'll get every one of my videos. You'll get every one of my videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.